What we're going to touch on briefly, let's see. Um, let's try to go for 10. For 10 minutes on this. Okay. The Taruma or the Taruma. What is a Taruma? What is Taruma? The Taruma is the contribution. Now the study, the, the study, uh, the study verses for this is Exodus 25, verses 1 to 29. The Teruma, the study verses are, are Exodus, Orit Zed chapter 20, 29, verses 1 to chapter 27, verse 19. You understand? In order to understand the contribution, the dues. You understand? Paying your dues to society. Now the Haftara, you understand? or the accompanying uh, study is 1st Kings chapter 5 verse 26 to 1st Kings chapter 6 verse 13 according to the Tanakh uh, versification then we have the Brit Hadasha the Brit Hadasha or the the Hadith Kidan the Hadith Kidan excuse me we also have the Hadith Kidan, the Brit uh, Hadasha, 2 Corinthians 9, verses 1 to 15, and Matthew chapter 5, verses 33 to 37. Now, normally in the study, in, in our weekly Orit readings or studying, we're going to be focusing on this for a couple of weeks because it's, it's really going to be necessary to understand this in detail. You understand Understand this in detail. Now in the scriptures, we understand how the Israelites became the Am Kadosh. You understand? Or the Kedus, the uh, Kedesa Hizb, uh, a holy people. By entering into the Al Kidan, by entering into the, the covenant with Yahweh, at Mount Sinai or Sinai. Now the terms of the covenant, which is like a contractual or the Al Kidan uh, word agreement, they were written down in the Sefer Habrit, you understand, or the Book of the Covenant, which contained a variety of laws to govern the people in the Promised Land. Now notice there was a variety of laws that we were given so that when we enter the Promised Land, we could govern our own affairs. We would have self-governance. Now it's very obvious that the Rastafari community, you understand, especially as concerning Shashamani and concerning Ethiopia and the land gift of his imperial majesty to the black people of the West, that this was not followed fully, even though the original Shashamani land grant administrator and those early ones who went to Ethiopia, you understand, who exodus from Babylon to Ethiopia, were almost all of them were Hebrew Israelite black people. You understand, were almost all of them Hebrew Ethiopians or Ethiopian Hebrews in the origination of it. Now when the men of the Rastafari came forward, you was in having the zeal, having the zeal for the King of Kings, having the zeal you understand? For our biblical prophetic fulfillment, but being ignorant and sought to establish, they sought to establish their own righteousness and did not submit themselves to the righteousness of the King of Kings, which is the Metav Kedus and his Mashi, Mashihu, and Getachin Jesus Christos. You understand? So, what we're now looking at right here in this particular study of Parashat Teruma or the contribution, we're looking at three sets of scriptures from Exodus chapter 25, verse 1, to Exodus chapter 27, verse 19, the Haftorah reading, 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 26, to chapter 6, verse 13, and the Brita Harasha, chapter 9 of 2 Corinthians verse 1 to chapter 15 and Matthew chapter 5 verse 33 to verse 37 but now just to connect it to the context of what we're studying on the, the, the Teruma the contribution we're seeing that the Israelites 
became the Am Kadosh, or the Yetak Adetsa, his became a Kadus, his a holy people by entering the Am Kadosh, the Am Hara, you understand the Am Kadosh, a holy people, by entering into the covenant with Yahweh, Yod He, Vau He, Wau He, Malet, um, at Mount Sinai. Now the terms of the of the covenant were written down in the Sefer Habrit, which is the book of the covenant, which contained a variety of laws. A variety of laws were given to the people, to this Am Kadosh, this holy people, you understand, to govern themselves, to have their own form of government when they reach the promised land. Now a lot of people ask us about when we're going to Ethiopia and, and they want to go with us and such and such. Well, this is the first thing you need to digest. So, so let's get to it now and let's start studying. Let's start pairing up and let's start studying it. Let's have study groups and Bible studies so we can learn exactly what the requirements are and we will not be confused or deceived or deluded, you understand, by any wolves and sheep clothing, so forth and so on. So you'll know, you understand, this truth. You understand, and we all can become accountable in this Hadith Kidan. You understand? Now, when the people agreed to obey the terms of the covenant, when they agreed, Musa, Moses took sacrificial blood and drew it on them, and threw it, excuse me, threw it on them by saying, Behold, the blood of the covenant that Yahweh has made with you in accordance with all these words. Musa then, then he reascended the mound to receive to Kabbalah, you understand, to Kebele, Mekebel, you understand, Lukot Haven, the tablets of stone inscribed with the Ten Commandments. And to learn additional Torah, additional Orit from yod He wau He, from Yahweh, from the God of the Ibrawiyan of the enlightened ones you understand so this is very important now we have the ten commandments you understand now if you have been studying the teaching of his imperial majesty along with us you know how important the ten commandments and the emphasis that the king of kings Nagush Nagesh Zechopia Kedemawi Haile Selassie Abu Kadus put on the ten commandments how important that is you understand to the king of kings and his Christ so now the parasha Teruma it opens with Yahweh saying to to Musa, Yahweh said to Moses, speak to the people of Israel that they take for me a contribution, that they take for me a contribution from every man whose heart moves him, you shall receive Makabel, you shall receive the contribution for me. According to Orit Zetzat, according to Exodus Shemot, you understand, chapter 25, verses 1 to 2. Now you need to study this. Exodus chapter 25, verses 1 to 2. Speak to the children of Israel. Israel.